Hi, it's me, Pam Vinnie, and today I have a video showing a journal that I have completed. It was this Pillow Sham cover that I cut in half and made into a chunky, chunky journal. And it has this little safety pin with, you know, a few little charms and baubles and beads here and this is uh, just like an eclectic journal I like eclectic journals and um, yeah it ties here so I think it came together very well and I'm going to do a flip through but before I do, I want to let you know that I have um, reached an exciting um, time, or I've, I've reached 3,000 subscribers, a milestone of 3,000 subscribers, I think is something to celebrate. And I am going to have a giveaway, and I'm going to give away this chunky fun journal um, and it's also a giveaway and a challenge so I'm just asking for one and just one I don't need any you know uh, happy mail or anything extra all I want is just like one piece of ephemera that I, and I so I can put in an idea book or you know, just use to copy, you know, have an idea. So one piece of ephemera that can just fit in this small envelope. And um, I will have a P.O. box probably by Monday. So, but, um, so check back at this video and I'll have a P.O. box where you can send it to. But if you know me and you already have my address, you can always send it to my address. But otherwise, uh, if you don't, I will have a P.O. box soon. So, um, and let's see, uh, what is the date? I don't even know. It's Sunday. So it's probably going to be maybe a month, month and a half, just so, you know, I get the entries in time because I know it's starting to get busy. So anyway, so this is going to be my giveaway and, um, let's just check it out and I'll have all the information and it will only unfortunately be just for, uh, USA, um, I just can't afford the uh, shipping for international. It's just everything's the price is going up on everything. So it's just I just can't afford it. So it's um, USA only because of shipping. But this is about nine and a half long. It's quite wide, wide about eight. Because it kind of has a roll effect. It, it's, it's like triples over like this. So it, trip, it goes like that and that. So to unfold it, let me move some things out of the way. So it unfolds like so. And then you also do have a little pocket here you could put something in. And if you wanted it to be shut, you could take this pin and shut it. I don't have it um, pin shut, but you could. And then, so that opens up flat like this. And then this signature is that way. And this signature goes that way. So, just flips. So let's uh, check out the first signature. Okay, I'm going to move just a few more things out of the way. Because it's quite a big, chunky book. And I just wanted to say I really appreciate it that um, those of you that have followed me and are a loyal subscriber, I really appreciate your comments, your likes, and for subscribing. Okay, let's look at the first signature. I added this little girl here, cute. She has a little ball in her hand. And I did add um, some sari silks or, you know, kind of Indian type fabrics. And you have a little bobble there. 
and we'll open it up and then this is really velvety so there are some textile uh, things which I enjoy in a journal so here it's got this cute little gentleman rabbit he's in this little drawer here this is folded over right here and um, we have a pretty note card for journaling and this is oh I have to sew this yet that's right I'm going to sew these coffee dyed papers in this little booklet and it's um, on this thicker scrapbook paper and I uh, put some napkins on here and then added a little embellishment there. I'm going to keep that out so I don't forget to sew that. Okay, and then here this opens up like this and this was like a little address. The other side of an address book and added a little flower here and then just a little journal card. And here we have a magnet. It says remember the now. And then I just inked and added some vintage washi tape that I just received from Dale. Not too shabby sheep. Thank you. And then it has this week and out of all the moments in my life, the ones I spend with you are my very favorite. You can just journal there, journal here. I have washi tape here. And then you and me, and you could add more things. And then here I have paper clipped. Um, this was a die that I have. And... I inked it. It's on some silvery paper, metallic paper, and then I think there's some note paper here for journaling. A pretty butterfly and flower. And then here I had stamped and tore some papers. We have scrapbook paper here. I stamped to be the change you want to see in the world, Gandhi. And then I added some flower stickers. Here's like a flower plant page that's a thicker paper. And then I added some um, sparkly, like Indian type paper um, fabric with a couple uh, sequins that I added. We have coffee dyed paper, which has a nice smell. Really cool scrapbook paper. Then I added this cute little stamp I recently got of a squirrel and a little nut there. Cute. So you, there's plenty of spaces to write. And you can write here. And then I had a stamp here. And I added washi. And this is a um, kind of like an encyclopedia type page. And I thought it was kind of colorful with a fruit. Here's some faux coffee dyed paper. Here's some vintage 1947 paper. I did tape it because it can be crumbly. So I've got washi and regular tape. And here's another one of these, these little address books with a uh, letter V. And there's some of my antique tape I made. It's a part of the envelope. We have a little cat card because there's a couple of cats there. Playing card and then this is a little yellow note card that kind of went with the yellow there. And then I have this sheer fabric on the bow there. Okay, and this was the envelope. And here I have a textured wallpaper butterfly that I received. And here I just add some washi tape, other washi tape, a little playing card I got from Dale. Um, the envelope I got from Dale, washi tape, and a couple of playing cards for the, it's an eclectic journal. So it's fun to just put random things in.
So that tucks in there. And then this, I have a little bird sticker. There's a little bird there. What do I have? I have another playing card and a Monopoly card. You can take out what you want and add what you want also. And then here, in the paper clip, I had a book page, um, washi tape, a little paper ruffled ribbon that's been sewn, washi tape stamp. I added the sequins. I did some zigzag stitching. This is a napkin, washi tape, washi tape, and some more fun stitching. A really pretty vintage bird page or animal page, dolphins there. Here's a little playing card on this envelope flap, and I have stapled some, um, you know, playing card bridge or some type of tally paper, and then added this little ticket. And then here is the other part of the envelope. I don't know, do I have something in here? This craft envelope. Yeah, I just have um, added a little stamp here on some a journal card and just a random picture of a little some men having a picnic or some kind of event outside. Oh, and then on this side, I have this little card here. And then I got this from somebody I can't remember, possibly Marcy from... Uh, Creator's Call Shop has, you know, a lot of little collaging. I think I added that part so that fit there. A little tea tab and fabric and papers. And we have a music paper, coffee dyed paper. And then when I um, made some of the, went on that nature walk and I got some wax paper and put it between wax paper and ironed it then then what i did was i sewed around like that and then i also made it into a pocket here so i think think that turned out pretty cool Let's see if i had anything to put in but you could figure you know put something in there so you can kind of see through it and then here is like a collage and sewn belly band and a little card, journal card. That's like a green graph paper. That's some of my dye, dyed envelope. Added washi tape there and a little Project Life card and a collaged tag that I zigzagged around. And there's some vintage type paper. And then I have here some like wood beads and this is a like a ceramic type bead. So those are the type of beads I have there. And then I have a little button, so just a vintage button for interest. Other side of that envelope, and I added some flowers and some vintage while you were out paper. Washi here. Just random bits and pieces. It's fun. And another flower in my dyed splattered envelope. And then here, this is a pocket, and this holds this down. And I sew it across, and it's just a little scrappy paper pad. So then it goes in this pocket. 
and then this can flip over it. But here is a little tuck. And it also folds out so you could add pictures or if you wanted to write on something and tear it out and put it there, you could too. And then this can hold that shut. And this is like vintage um, columned paper. Some graph, green graph paper. And then here I added some sparkly trim to this pocket. And I had a tutorial on this pocket. Um, I have a, um, I scanned a copy of a master board and then I went back and sewed around it and then added this cute little mouse stamp. Isn't that cute? And that will go in here. And then this has a couple different pockets, just a, like a recipe type card. And this is how you fold it. I added a stamp and different sewing to that. So there's a couple different pockets here. And this um, was a paper pad which I cut, added my vintage tape I made. And then I added different little cards that I got from um, DL. And then I made uh, these little file folders. A Marcy with Creators Call Shop suggested that would be cute to add to these. So I did. Another file folder and a couple more cards. Coffee dye paper. The music. Added some more trim. And then... Here, I wonder if I can just bring this down. No, not so easy. And then I just have an earring that I had received, I repurposed. And, and this has lines on it. It's a thicker paper, so you could you know, journal there too. And just a postcard Eiffel Tower and a, I think this is a Tim Holtz ephemera piece or journal card. And then here, journal card, this tuck, and I added writing lined paper. Folds out like a triple fold, so you could add pictures, or if you you know would rather, you could add more note paper here and here. And then here is a scrappy booklet with some coffee dyed papers. There's the other side of that like animal or dragonfly page. This is some wallpaper that I think I got from um, I, get from, um, I think Marcy Creators Call Shop. I'm just going to put a little cat card in there because it's handy. You could take it out and put whatever you wanted to, but there is a pocket there. And then I have a little card. We know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Romans 8, 28. It's a little postcard. That's on the other side of the that address book. And I have a little flower here. Oh, there's another cat card there, too. Maybe I'll add something else there because I don't want it to be, like, the same. What do I have over here? What else can I put there instead? Let's see. Well, I've been making a lot of things with scraps, and I'll show you that at a different time. But um, I'll find something to put in here. One moment. Okay, how about this cute little tally card? I think that's cute. Vintage little tally card there. Perfect. Okay, now what did I have in here? Oh, I had this cat card. There's some fun little cards on this vintage magazine page. Um, so I was going to put that there. And then this was a um, 
little tab and I folded it because I thought it was interesting. Read. And I folded it so it would fit. And I thought it was fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see, what do we have here? We have a paper bag here. And I added a couple layers here for the tuck. Um, collaged, did some fun stitching around that. And inside, I just have one of these. Kind of interesting, fun to read. And then you could tuck something in here. Um, that's kind of on a book page and then here I did a little stamping and then some kind of a textured rumpled paper there and you could still write on it cute little stamp of a girl on a swing love that scrapbook paper coffee dyed here's the other side of that thicker garden page so you could add something to that added some stamp to butterflies scrapbook paper and then here is a note card of a pot with flowers another address card with the letter C and then in here I just added scrapbook paper and a little sticker that says smile and a couple cards some three moose that was kind of fun very random and we have Bambi here this is um, <clears throat> on some um, thicker cardstock so you could add a bunch of things there and then here is a metal butterfly on a ball pin or garment pin and then here's some really pretty sari that's glittery with a little of this color in it here and then we have a belly band with a little garden card from 1980 A little string here of glue. Okay, so that fits there, and that's that first signature. Then the second one is right here. I have another really cool vintage button, and then I added this just for whimsy, and it kind of marks where I wanted it to be separated. And I did hand stitch one side of this really pretty trim. Okay, here I have um, some pretty seam tape that goes with the journal. Um, added this butterfly that I recently got from Dale. And here we have a little pocket and some fun, wispy. I might have got that from Dale too. Fibers. And I have a little card here. Get out a picture, and then I made a little booklet with some stapled in coffee dyed paper on craft, and I cut that from this type of paper. And then this paper clips this shut because this also opens up like this. I added this here and a little dimensional butterfly sticker and it has a really pretty note card I thought went pretty with this tore the pocket and then in here is the collage tag yes and I um, stamped it napkin a couple of different napkins and washi tape journal card and then you could add you know pictures whatever you wanted here and this um, has paper clipped on I thought it was cute drawing in ham and asparagus rolls 
and savory cheddar bark bake. And that clips on here. And this I sewed. I sewed this, these papers, into the middle of this right here. See how I sewed that right there? So, and I stamped a little washi tape. So you have like a little coffee dyed booklet right in the middle of all this. Right here. Washi tape. A torn edge. A little fun little booklet. And then you can just put a little paper clip to the top to hold it shut. We have a um, flower book. Really cool scrapbook paper. And I stamped this. I love that stamp. I think it's a daffodil, maybe. Or, yeah, maybe a daffodil or iris. Uh, some vintage paper, another vintage type paper. Uh, this is a sack that can open up more. Added some fabric, has a couple little sequins. And then I did a little quilted ruffled trim. And then I added this little piece here and then I added that key inside the bag I just have a couple things like a journal card I added that little tab to it and then a random little 1960 neighborhood two men chatting and this was a cut apart like a postcard Oh, I think there's something else in here too. I'll do. It's quite a bit back. And then I have this really cool um, picture of these ladies. They're sewing. And here, uh, I never straw paper, I think that is. I think I got that a long time ago. Maybe from Imperial, Imperial Blues. Um, and here was an old seam binding package. I took the scrap paper and backed it on cardstock. And I thought this was a pretty note card. Original watercolor. A little light graph paper. And a little sticker that says remember and the other Part of that like encyclopedia page I st stamped the keys here scrapbook paper and this is that vintage 46 or 7 magazine paper I added tape and washi just to reinforce it scrapbook paper and then I added um, children's book page and then you can also write and then this is the other part that was cut off. I added it here. And then you have a little scrappy booklet. And then on this side, that's a vintage card. I thought that was so pretty. In the back of that address book. There's some more vintage type papers. This is like a, you know, book end page. I thought that was cute from an older magazine or an older book page. Writing here, you could write there. There's a little stamp right here. I added a cute little mushroom stamp and I'm hoping this will film. It stopped, so I think, uh, I don't know if my camera phone does more than half hour. Here's another, uh, like an encyclopedia, or it has plants. Here's a dyed page, scrapbook paper, cute little stamp with a chicken and a hat. Added a little tuck here. 
um, and some really cool sari with beads. And then I added a little charm to it. And then I still need to show uh, this and all my little scrappy things I've been making too. Uh, this is netting. And then I sewed around and added fun little sequins. And in this tuck, there's a <clears throat> vintage flash card in one of these. It's like a little postcard. It's another one of these little drawers. Um, and this was an this is an envelope here. I didn't open it up, but if you did want to open it up, you could just put a slit in here and add more things here because here's the um, the Manila envelope. <clears throat> um, this is like echo dyed paper. There's a stamp and another little a card for journaling on. And here's another vintage. <clears throat> Uh, encyclopedia page, letter H, and I have some more of these wood and it's like a porcelain bead. I added this fun leaf and some seam binding. And this was a uh, same type of tag as the other one, except this one is a thicker, really pretty blue paper. And I added uh, cardstock around it and that sticker with a typewriter and then that little button chipboard button and a little postcard see you can see the different places you could put things in the pocket or you'd like added a little pine cone stamp to this and what do I have in here? Do I have something in here? Well, yes, I do. I made a little booklet. With lots of papers. Which you can have fun decorating more or just writing in, in it. That's a little poem or book page. A lot of pages and real pretty scrapbook paper. We have one of these, whenever I can remember, library type cards. This is your song, and then scrapbook paper to journal on. Card catalog, maybe. Card catalogs. I did a little stamp there. This died. Week, week record, weekly record. Uh, this had a little rat on it, and I didn't like it, so I covered it up. And it is a pocket. If you wanted to put something in there, I don't know what I have. I'll just throw in the flower here. If you wanted to add it someplace else, you could. And more. A flower type book. Added another pine cone onto that. Did a stamp there. It's kind of like that end paper. More vintage paper. So yes, there's places to write. And this was from that address book and it's a letter G. Uh, this was a scan from one of my linens. Um, added a little tag and added this to the top ribbon. And then did some stamping with leaves. And over here, it's really pretty leaf paper. And there was a little clock sticker. And I added gold right here, a gold marker. This opens up so you could also journal. And then inside, I used one of my dies and um, with gold and you can move the arms 
So that made an interesting page. And then here we have a journal card with some gold, like sorry trim type sparkly tab. And I love this paper here. It flips up so you could journal and edit a fern stamp. Vintage paper with the real pretty washi on the vintage magazine. Added it here too in a really pretty um, floral book, which opens up. Let's see more flowers. Added this little pocket here. Flash card in a little journal spot. Washi here. So it's fun, eclectic. And then this pretty flower bouquet opens up for more journaling. More of that, like encyclopedia, like a graph, real light graph paper. Uh, this was a book page. I folded over, added gold metallic paper, and then this. I think it was a sticker and the straw paper. This little card. And this is a folded over coffee dyed paper. And then this is a little gold die cut. And this is a um, napkin by the artist Flavia that I put on this paper, straw paper, a little journal card, or add a picture to it, more paper for journaling. This was a napkin and another of the gold die cut. And this um, is another die cut. Added this uh, wallpaper butterfly and this little button I added, dimensional button. And you have a place to write. I thought this is really pretty scrapbook paper. More garden book type page. Uh, this was really from an uh, from an ideals book. And I might have to plug in my phone here a minute. Okay. Uh, ideals magazine. And then this. Um, more from a fabric that used to be a skirt. It's got sequins. This is Garden Memories. Added this trim here. And then there's a little poem and added paper and washi. And looks like there's another spot you could add. You could journal to or add a picture. And this is the last page, that skirt with a little sequence. And then this is a little pocket, the other side, the other part of that paper bag that I added this fabric to. Postcard and another um, sewn around napkin. I think it's a couple different napkins and a washi tape. put stuff behind and in front. All right. There. And that's the last. I just added some fuzzy trim here. A little trim. And then that just shuts up like this. Folds over. And then it has this is sewn on. And then it goes like that. And then it ties Like so, and ties, and like that. So I thought it's an interesting, fun, eclectic type journal. And um, I will put all the information for the um, challenge giveaway uh, in the description. I thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.